here we are with the first level of organization that um, illustrates or contains or has all the qualities of life, and that is the cell. The cell is a defining structure in biology classes because it there are similarities. All cells share a lot of similarities, and you can imagine we will talk about it in detail in this class. Just like we're going to spend time talking about chemistry, we're going to spend time looking at the cell. I want to draw your attention just a second to the cells that are actually in this picture. These are cells, um, they're called HeLa cells, and they actually were stolen from a woman looking for medical care for cervical cancer. She died and uh, from cervical cancer. And in the process of attempting to get treatment for her condition, her cells were taken and grown, reproduced, what? Made more of. And they became a cell line in biological sciences that are um, very common. There's lots and lots of hum or science experiments, projects, research that are happening using this woman's um, cells. The cells were harvested for the use in science without her permission. She and her family didn't ever receive notification, let alone compensation for the use of these cells, which is a really interesting, hmm, concerning, perhaps, conversation about um, life and uh, rights. And there's a book that you might be interested in if you want to learn more about this. It's called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. There's actually a movie now, I think, and I haven't seen it. I haven't read the book either. So, um, but I am aware of the incredible, um, the incredible value of her cells and the way that she was used and not compensated for what she offered to science. Wild that her cells can survive without her and continue to do good in the world. Super interesting. Okay, so cells, as we know, they combine to form tissues. And the imaging used on this is, I think this is really pretty because it has, um, let me see if I can find my, I don't know if you can see my mouse at the moment, but um, the red circles are the nuclei in the cells themselves. So you can actually kind of see some of those um, subatomic, um, no, you can see some of the organelles that make up the cell themselves. Here's another view, but this time we have multiple cells. All the red dots, are cells. You can see them in here. These are a certain kind of cell. And the big green one is a different kind of cell. These are all cells that are found in your brain. So these are nervous system cells. And remember, tissues are when different kinds of cells get together and, and work together for a common function. This is an example of different kinds of cells that are working together. We often think of neurons as like the main, the main dish, the main point of a um, of the nervous system. It's the neurons. But in us, our neurons are about ten percent of our nervous system cells, and we have a lot of other cells that do work of taking care of the neurons, of moderating the environment that they are in, and even moderating the messages that neurons send. Nervous tissue, super cool. Tissues, as you know, can combine to form organs. And if you zoomed out of that last picture, we would see all those cells working together, different kinds of cells working together. If you zoom your way out, you're going to end up with the brain. And that's an example of an organ. The heart is an organ. Muscle Muscle organs, like your biceps brachii, that's an, that's an organ. It's a whole bunch of different kinds of tissues that are working together for a common function. 
Um, after we have organs, we have an entire system. So the organs, different organs working together, make up a system. The nervous system would be brain, spinal cord, nerves. Those are all different organs working together in the nervous system. The musculoskeletal system is an organ system made up of all these different bone organs and muscle organs that make up these systems. Digestive system, awesome system, mouth, esophagus, stomach, intestines, out zone, organ systems that do work for the body. And if you put a whole bunch of organ systems together, you get an organism. This guy is just hanging out, living his best life in the glorious sun. It feels like that's probably a nice, cozy, warm place that that guy's hanging out. And he's made of all those levels of organization that we've talked about so far. Ultimately, you get to this level. Now, just like, I mean, just like life is challenging to define, um, defining an organism, you may think that it's super intuitive. Like I know exactly I am one organism. Um, it becomes rather complicated and we will explore those complications as we go. Organisms live together. So let's look at multicellular critters and how they um, interact in the world. 